Hey, what's going on, fellas? This video is for Gert, and what we're doing here is dialing in a system on 40 liters per hour, or at 400 kilowatt. I'm starting this test with diesel, so we can measure the flame length, because my rotometer will not read waste oil. You can't see the float. So, I just wanted to fire this thing up at 400 kilowatts to give us an idea of how long the flame is. Turns out we're at about 44 inches. As far as airflow goes, you're gonna want at least nine cubic foot per minute. This is about a 44 inch flame here. This is our 40 liters per hour. And one thing I do want to mention about the fuel pumps on these systems, especially when you're using waste oil, is you want the fuel pump to push the fluid. You don't want it to be sucking the fluid. Those bubbles there are a problem. They can cause a flame out. You definitely want to completely purge the system of air before you put it into operation. I would have like a, don't hook the fuel hose up to the burner at first, but just let it run to get all the bubbles out and then connect it up to the burner when you first install the plumbing. Then once you get all the air bubbles out, you'll be fine. But um, yeah, this is just a reference so we know how big of a flame we want to get to give us that approximate 400 kilowatt. Because as I said, we can't read the rotometer with waste oil. Okay, so that was just a quick look at what 40 liters an hour looks like or 400 kilowatts. This air compressor was running at full capacity and was only able to achieve a back pressure of about 75 PSI's. But that's kind of misleading because a lot of the horsepower of this engine is being wasted due to the gear ratio used to drive the pump. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a 6.5 horsepower engine. and Right here is a 2 horsepower electric motor. And this is a 4 cylinder air compressor. And this thing will stomp that gas air compressor by about twofold. I don't know the actual output of this thing because you can't trust the labels anymore, uh, especially seeing as how old it is. But I'm guessing it's 20 cubic foot per minute. And this is a two horsepower electric motor. So just getting a two cylinder air compressor with at least two horsepower is probably gonna get you down the road.